you. I can see you. <laughs> Thank you. I feel a bit like the shining with this light in front of me. It's I like know. So it's trying, I, I honestly, I was trying to get the lighting. And it's just because it's getting so dark and wintry. I know. But, um, yeah. Thank you. I was oh. listening, and it's so it's Amazing. so true. Everything that you're saying. Yeah. Thank you. It's so wonderful to actually. So I want to actually bring people on here so you can understand what it's actually like for people. I've been doing this a long time. I think a part of me has become a bit desensitized to some of it because it's so normal. So I think what I want to do here is invite people on that have gone through it recently. Psychic development had an awakening so you can actually understand what they have had and how they found it. So Ruth, my darling, welcome. How long have we actually been working together in psychic development? I feel like I've known you for about two and a half years since my dad passed I think it's about two and a half or just before two and a half to three years I've been in psychic school just this year um when I first met you I knew I had um I, I mean I knew I'd experienced like most people on this call I'd experienced things as a child and all the rest of it and I knew I had a sense of a sense of feeling um but beyond that I had no idea what I, I mean I knew I had a sense of feeling I knew I had the intuition but I was really looking to expand that to other um other clears or other areas so audio and visual and things like that and I genuinely thought it would never ever 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 happen to me <laughs> oh <laughs> no no I, I mean I honestly thought that that I, I was gifted in that one area and then through working with you and through the exercises, um, I think the most powerful thing I've learned is that I remember you saying it's like a marriage. You, it's, like, it's like it's like your best friend, your lover, your partner. And it's like the same amount of attention, your children, the same amount of attention and love that you spend with your partner is really the same amount of time that you need to spend with your guides. And that doesn't mean like being with them 24 seven and like, you know, you know, being like joined to the hip, but it was like just talking to them the moment you wake up morning, how are you? Um, this is how I'm feeling today. And this is who I'm working with today. And I'd love your guidance here. And it sort of started like that and cut to, now, long story short, sometimes I feel like I'm a Hogwarts professor. It's like I some I feel like I've got visuals turned on, hearing turned on. Um, they send me signs all day long. I, I, I feel so connected to my dad. Um I'm a, I'm now I can honestly say with confidence that I'm a channel, I'm a channel writer. That's my gift. My yeah. gift is through writing and channeling with writing and I use that with my clients and I also use it creatively and I'm also my guides I know them by name mm -hmm. tremendous I mean this yeah, yeah it's kind amazing of isn't it wild can I just stop you there just for a moment because like of course She's, she says that and she looks at me sometimes like and she sent me Vox we speak on Voxer she's one of my one-to-one -one clients and she says to me I just had this amazing breakthrough and like I know my guides and I've done this and I'm like oh yeah yeah and she's like but that's like that but it's, and I'm like yeah it's normal welcome to your normal life and she's like what how is this actually normal it's incredible she's like how did I not know this life existed and having your boxers been so excited has literally brought me to tears at times because yeah. it's amazing what you've gone through because Ruth actually runs her own online business she's a copywriter and she works with very very high level businesses and has to really tap into her clients to understand what it is they need and draw out their their words and their passages and there's a lot to it and she didn't realize that already she was tuning into a client she couldn't understand why not couldn't understand but there's a lot of people that were almost like well how are you getting me her clients were like how are you getting me how are you understanding my words how are you knowing what I'm actually trying to say when I feel like I can't articulate it to you mm -hmm. and what Ruth was doing was actually tuning in to her clients and actually understanding their energy feeling what they wanted to bring forward and was able to translate that through the words and copy so it just goes to show you how the clients are almost getting served without actually having to share what they actually need to do 
and can't find the words and she can find the words for them she channeled this it's like next level but can we share the other project or am I allowed to not say I was going to <laughs> I was just wondering you. if you're going to ask that I know I'll be also oh well, this is this is this is like uh, you know it's like be careful what you wish for because it's like a byproduct. So once you taught me how to tune in to my clients before you know tuning in before a session, closing down after a session, um, I then applied that. Oh, hang on. So one sec, is it is the signal gone for everybody or is it me? Can everyone hear? I don't want them to miss this. So everyone, can you all hear? Is the signal gone a bit wonky? People are saying, how did they, how did they live this long without knowing all of this? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Let me just check that they can all still hear us. It's gone a little bit frozen. That's okay. All okay, you can hear, perfect, it must be me. Okay, let me know if it does break up. Carry on, so Ruth, what were you saying? Well, once you taught me how to tune in before my sessions and then closing after my sessions and then when I I, I had the, that that kind of confidence that kind of I remember you saying before you went on stage sometimes Katie you would walk on stage and you would just you'd tune in and you just knew that it would come through you knew that the right messages would come through and that's very much how I feel now I've never I walk into a client really calm and just as long as I'm tuned in the downloads come and all the rest of it so I took that knowledge and in May of last year, so I can't even believe it, I actually complete wrote the end, I've channeled a, a TV series show <laughs> from like a, like a, a script um, yeah. from my guides. And sometimes, and, and what's so incredible is, so after, after a writing session, so the, a, a writing session, I'll close down and I will then take a walk and the downloads keep coming that they will send me links. They sent me to a church the other day. Wild, they, they send you places where you hear things that are for the story, for the next part in the story. And it's yeah. just, I, 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 it feels like um, I have like, like seriously, the most incredible spiritual team who've totally got my back and are just taking me to my grandest vision that I could have possibly imagined and they're just carrying me the whole way if that makes sense oh I love it I absolutely love it and I think when you've experienced it yourself it's like mind-blowing isn't it so can we just say as well she's also Ruth's incredible actress so she's starred in many things and um, I know there's a lot of people here that aren't from the UK but it's predominantly UK that you've been in things and for her to be able to write this is incredible. And I've actually read it. So she sent me over chunks of it and it's incredible. I'm like, what happens next? She's like, I don't know yet. I've got to get the next download. And I'm like, oh, I need to know what happens next. And like, even the characters, everything is so detailed. It's incredible. And she's like, this was so easy. It just flowed and it just feels so good. And it feels so aligned and the energy behind it. And the more she was writing, the more she was uplifted it just kept coming and coming and it's just set you free in so many ways hasn't it this I think I feel I think there was a and I'm being really really honest here there was something missing before where it's been filled there is and I know none of this has, has yet come to light yet you know I mean you know what does that mean but I feel so fulfilled Katie I almost feel quite emotional I feel so fulfilled on a daily basis that I'm actually leaving something of worth whatever happens it's like I feel like I'm leaving something that is important yeah does that make sense so you're leaving your mark on the world so what you're experiencing there is that true fulfillment this true like the thing that people don't actually seek it's almost like people seek that they just want to survive or they just want to make sure that they've got enough to get by or just be able to be happy ish in the moment people don't seek that true fulfillment because they don't think it's real but what you've actually experienced is that you've dropped into that vibration so from that place the only thing that can come is the certainty when you've got the certainty energy open your guides just it's like there's no barriers there's no boundaries there's nothing to worry about it's all just going to flow so you open up that full receptive yeah, flow yeah which is yeah. what you've done yeah yeah, it's, it's very exciting. I know. I, yeah. 
And I do worry this is probably a little bit too much for the first session of oh, like the oh. spiritual festival. <laughs> no, 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 not you. But like, this is the thing. I think before I've done things very basic with you. If you've ever been in psychic preschool, I used to call it then. I've done things like this is the basics of it. But actually, guys, the basics aren't going to cut it now. Life is happening now around you. You need to know this. This is available to you. And I like to think that I can put things in simple terms. And, you know, Ruth's asked um, questions along the way that have really helped me develop, all my clients do, and understand how I can actually word this for you in a more layman's terms way. But this is what you need to be knowing. Like the psychic ability is just like everything. It's everything. It makes your whole life incredible. And Ruth is a walking, talking example of that. And, and I should say, I feel like I've only done the basics and this mm -hmm. is happening from the basics. I don't, I haven't gone any further and, and because I feel like I'm, I'm mastering each part in my own time and my own space and my own way. Yeah. And I feel like that, the fact that I've got that, I, I don't know if, if I can say that that kind of lifetime access that everybody has when they join yeah. the, the, the psychic school, that's, that's, that for me has been the most helpful because I might I feel like I move slower but just because you're moving slower mm -hmm. doesn't mean the results me are slow <laughs> the, do you know what I mean the results of of what I'm experiencing feel so huge with the basic knowledge that I've picked up on yeah that's it and also absolutely and what I love about what you're doing as well sorry I think my internet's a bit unstable I don't mean to talk over you it keeps That's going fine. silent I think you're finished but what the um Ruth also often leaves me messages saying I've just been in the membership as well and this has been there and I've just followed this training it's incredible and she'll often just dip in and out when she's on walks and when you're in the bath as well or when mm. she's been away with the family and she's had like a little bit of time to lie in the sun lounger she'll listen to some of the trainings and all of that's really helped you hasn't it all the time. Yeah, I think some of the stuff in the membership is incredible. I, I've done some of the things in the membership. I keep going back. I keep going back to certain things that that work for me. Yeah. So I learned in psychic school and the, I think if I'm OK to say that for me, it was the mixture of psychic school and the Voxer support. So I like the blend that that yeah. works for me because um, so that way I could do it at my own pace and at any bits that I got confused, I could get a little bit more support. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, yeah, and it helps you feel more guided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I've frozen. Yeah, it helps you feel more guided. Uh, yeah, I just feel, I, it helps me feel, yeah, more guided, more supported. But you know what it's like. Sometimes you won't hear from me. And I think, and, but when you don't hear from me, it's because... I don't want to say that it's like I, I don't need you but <laughs> but it's only yeah. because because it's so beautiful what you've what I've developed and then I'll come back and okay right now I'm mm -hmm. ready for the next stage I'm ready you know for the next the next kind of part um, that's exactly what you do <laughs> because I think what's freaking and I'm, I'm not freaking you out but I think it's the fact that I'm now seeing spirit that is a wild experience and I think if I'd seen spirit earlier on I probably wouldn't have been able to process that and now I'm processed. Now I'm now I'm like, I want to see you all the time. <laughs> oh, I just like I love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you feel that any of this has actually helped you with your grief journey? I don't want to go into too much personal detail about that because grief is very different for everybody. But do you feel any of this has actually helped you with your grief journey? I think that's probably the most important thing. Yes, 100%. Um, I feel, like you said, I feel more connected with my dad in many ways now than when he was alive. And that's very hard to explain to anybody that isn't experiencing what I'm experiencing. Um, but he will, he will send the sun out for me when I need him. He will send me, he sends me little insects that land on my head. We know that he come. he likes, yeah, he yeah. Like, he's like, a, you know, he'll, he'll, <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll I'll feel him throw, stroke my hair. Aww. He'll he'll talk to me, um, and um, I feel just that he's he's just the one person that he he's trying he's 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 um he's not the dad that I knew. He mm -hmm. is a much more evolved, incredible 
person that's just there with this unconditional love and that's what I feel the most from my connection with what you've helped kind of create with my relationship with them now oh I love that I love that so much because it's absolutely incredible isn't it to be able it's to, very hard to explain that it's so hard no, to explain. and I remember because when um, we went through this together, didn't we? We went through mm. that because we already knew each other, already working together. And we went through this lot together. And I remember her saying to me, but my dad isn't a spiritual being. He wasn't spiritual, he was very academic. Yeah. And so, and I was like, but it's different in spirit world. It's like they evolve, they understand more, they align and they can do more for you in that life than they ever can in this life. And then you built that relationship with him, didn't you? Nice and slowly. Nice and yeah, very much so, very much so. And now my children have that. We, I mean, the most beautiful things. My children, we talk about my dad every day, and um, it's like he's here. Oh, we'll ask dad. We'll ask papa. Well, and that wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. That wouldn't have happened before. That would not have happened in the way oh, that it hang on. kind of normalized. Yeah. Spirit in a way that we can talk about it without hiding and being ashamed or being afraid to talk about it for what others might think. I feel like it's, it's helped me be very open about it's helped my, it's helped me grieve in a much more powerful way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's incredible, isn't it? And I think this is the thing. It's really hard to kind of explain that as well. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of hard to, I think you've done it beautifully, but I think it's hard to almost, you weren't expecting that at all you were just kind of tuning in to understand spiritually how you could protect your energy and how you could get some guidance around your business and growth and there wasn't any of this that was expected to come along and it was certainly like I remember when I first met you if I just said to you we're going to activate your psychic ability you would have laughed your head off at me and said okay Katie all right but now looking at you and how your life's changed she always says to me but it's wild my life is now wild, Katie. I never kind of know what's going to happen next. It's like, everything's wild. And I just love that. And I'm like, welcome to your new life, Ruth. She's like, but how well, does it happen that. so well, quickly? Also, you said that, you said, because one of the words, one of the things that you learn is, 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 what, is what you want to feel and experience. And I wanted the magic. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted that magical experience, my life to be full of magic and wonder and that's what it genuinely is like now like genuine yeah. like pinch me stuff like you know like just it, it's it's yeah. wild some of the little the, the signs and stuff that they start to send you that you that that is the kind of the magical part of it yeah and I think that's the part that you wouldn't have been necessarily expected to be able to share that with everyone but it's like oh my gosh it's incredible so it enhanced her life it enhanced um her business enhanced a connection to all the humans around her and also helped her through her grief process there's a lot there a lot and Ruth I just want to say thank you so much as a valued oh. member of psychic school and clients it's a pleasure to have you and I just get excited for you all the times to where this is taking you what's next because you're in full surrender mode just allowing it to come through so if you could give one key top tip to anyone now that's at the start of their journey just one key top tip. So everyone that's watched this live stream tonight and thinking, I kind of get this, maybe I don't. What's the one top tip you would give them that you wish you'd have known at the start, maybe? It, it, I think it, it's um, talking, talking to them. Talking to them, even just talking, just, just, just speaking whatever you're feeling, as mm -hmm. silly as it may feel, talk. As yeah. silly as you may look, talk to them in your head. Just, just, but be very present. That be very present. That I'm talking to you right now. I'm, I'm talking to you now. I'm talking to you now. I'm, I'm feeling into you right now. I'm talking to you now. I hear you now. You know that is that communication, that talking to them. Mm -hmm. Very powerful, isn't it? I think that's the key, isn't it? People think you have to constantly meditate and constantly do things, and you need to as well for you. For your own general well-being so i think meditation's got many benefits but i must have spoken to spirit about gosh into the hundreds of times today and that's just today like constantly like oh what do you think of this or spirit what shall i even like should i have the jacket potato for lunch spirit or should i have a salad like all these crazy things and it's just talking away in my head because it's a relationship it's a two-way streak 
And once you get used to that, that it is a relationship you're building, you have to communicate with something to have a relationship, you just end up moving so much quicker and progressing so much quicker with your journey. That and was the that's main, what you that started that doing. Progress, progress me the most yeah. was the talking, was that you, you're just teaching me to, to talk. And then obviously I learn what to say and you learn more things that you want, you know, you learn the process and all the rest of it. But yeah, that, that really is for me, that was the, the, the turning point for everything to start coming. Amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Ruth. I love this.